As we know, the Midwest has been under the threat of severe weather and tornadoes for the past few days, and cleanup continues in some communities. But today's also being remembered for what happened 50 years ago. We are talking that super tornado outbreak of 1974. So let's bring in our expert now, Ryan, with more on this. So Ryan, what came out of this historic and really tragic event? Well, it's one tornado specifically that everybody's going to remember, the Xenia, Ohio tornado. Still 50 years later, one that gets talked about here. It's an event that only lasted for several hours, but it's one that goes into the history books. Let's look back at the super outbreak of 1974. At 430 in the afternoon, the infamous Xenia, Ohio F5 twister touchdown. The storm grabbed national headlines after the tornado destroyed the high school and damaged nearly half the town. 32 people lost their lives. Over 1,100 were injured in just this one storm. In total, over 350 people lost their lives during the storms of April 3rd across the United States. Locally, Northwest Ohio, Southeastern Michigan were hit, but spared the worst of the damage. But the shadow of that dark day still looms over modern storm forecasting. A national response to the catastrophic events were swift. The disaster showed the need to modernize satellites and significantly improve radar at local National Weather Service offices. These changes gave public significantly more lead time before tornado touchdowns were possible. Radar at the time was crude and hard to operate. Even seasoned meteorologists at the helm had trouble at times. The change wasn't immediate, but the need for Doppler radar network to detect tornadoes before they formed became apparent. By the early 90s, radar could not only detect rain and precipitation, but critically wind direction. This allowed for the first time real time detection of tornadoes forming before they touch down. We've captured that tornado debris signature that has been showing up on radar and as we've been modern advances yeah, now allow us to detect debris lofted into storms for even greater confidence and stronger worded warnings. There you see meteorologist, Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers right there with our severe weather event that happened March 13th of this year. Just goes to show you an event 50 years ago and how some of the modern sciences have advanced from what was a tragic event. Over 300 people died from mm -hmm. that one tornado outbreak. Mm -hmm. You think about it, it's like, thank goodness the technology is to the point where not only do we have our smartphones, but the yeah. warnings are so much better. It doesn't mean everyone will get to safety, but so much better. Than yeah, obviously was. still weather is very, uh, at times, unpredictable as much as we like mm -hmm. to look ahead and see what's going to happen. Uh, take a look at how significant this event was. Tornadoes from Michigan to Alabama, Mississippi. Um, again, one of the largest tornado outbreaks in history. If you ever talk about severe weather, uh, this is kind of one of those benchmark events that will be talked about uh, for the rest of time, really. Wow. And coming really close to the weather we saw yesterday in that same area. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes you say, thank goodness things didn't work out. We had more clouds, kept some of the instability down. Not all the ingredients came together for a worst case scenario, which this time of the year you can see what a worst case scenario can really look like. And for reference for us here in Toledo, Xenia is down near Dayton. So this yes. wasn't very far away when you think about it. No, it, it wasn't. Mm -hmm.